Okay, this is Dr. Meyer again. I am here in the laboratory, and as you see, we're Dr. Kim is here. He's coming over. He's looking in the incubator. This time, he's going to take out how many embryos are you going to take out, Dr. Kim? Two. He's going to take out two embryos, and he's going to biopsy those embryos today. So he's going to show us how he does that. But um, what happens for embryo biopsy is they have already made a um, small hole in the zone that surrounds the embryo and what they're going to do today is look under the microscope and actually pull out three or four cells which are called blastomeres and um, put those in a separate vial. Yeah, those are part of the trophector, Dr. Kim was saying. As you can see, he's working on a heated stage right there. It actually has a hood there to keep the conditions similar to what's going on in the incubator. So he's moving the embryos from the media that were in the incubator, and then he's going to bring them our way, and he's going to show us what he does with those embryos. Um, as I mentioned, those blastomeres will be then sent to um, a laboratory either outside of Chicago or one that's sent outside of Harvard in Cambridge, Massachusetts. He is setting up the screen and we're going to look at the screen right here to see what he is actually looking at underneath the microscope. So to the left is the suction pipette, right, for the embryo. Yeah. And then you're going to pull and remove the tissue from the troph ectoderm, which forms the placenta later on mm -hmm. in development. Okay. Tell us what you see there. This is the um, placenta. For uh, embryo during the biopsy. Okay. So you put suction on the the holding pipette to the left. Okay. And that is actually part of the embryo that is yes. starting to hatch yeah. out. This part is the inner cell mass, and I will take this part. Okay. The tropical zone. So we're seeing exactly what you see underneath the microscope at this time. Yes. We can see the blastomeres, part of the embryo actually going up into the pipette. And what's interesting is these cells will represent the rest of the embryo, and that's why we can make the call on whether the embryo is chromosomally normal or abnormal. What's interesting is about, on average, depending on the patient's age, but about 50% of embryos can be abnormal. And this allows us to increase pregnancy rates by only transferring the normal embryos. See that the cells are actually slowly coming apart. And he's using a laser there, is that right, Dr. Yes. Kim, to separate? So that little bullseye is a laser, mm -hmm. and you can see the cells have been separated. And those cells will then be sent to the laboratory. Okay. So those are the cells right there? Yes, that's the Okay. Biopsy, so we will freeze this embryo. Okay, and the embryo will then be frozen. Mm -hmm.